Atlantis sporting heroine as a woman who has rowed her way across the Atlantic and has been talking to the six o'clock news about her remarkable but terrifying adventure. It's taken Deborah over three and a half months to row from Tenerife to Barbados. She started her journey with her husband, but continued on her own, and he pulled out after only two weeks. I just seem to remember this one headline that was on the front page of all the British newspapers, uh, which was rather dramatically, husband abandons wife mid-Atlantic. <laughs> How do you make those impossible decisions when the environment completely changes and the one resource you thought you had that you could rely on is no longer there anymore? To be eaten by a shark is kind of cool, isn't it? You know, it's like, there's some kudos with that, but to be sunk by sea turtle would be downright embarrassing. I'm prepared to do whatever it takes now to keep people motivated. And I know it's got to start with me. And I know I've got to have that passionate belief, no matter what the project is. Because if it's not there, then I'm never going to make it through the hard times. Every time I took a step outside the comfort zone, I, I realised that if I stayed there long enough, if I stuck at it, the comfort zone always shifted to where I was. I can see opportunities and change now that I could never see before. And I know it's going to be scary along the way. But the one thing I did have control of was the way I bounced back from all those things, was the attitude with which I approached them. And I clung on to it because I just needed that one thing I could say, yeah, I'm in control of this. I actually had every reason to sit there and have a rotten attitude. Life at sea sucked. It was awful. You know, constantly being hit by these waves every day, eating beef stew and dumplings, drinking this rank taste of seawater, and just being so exhausted and sleeping in a cabin that threw you from wall to wall in the waves, and the loneliness, and you know what, I'd even run out of toilet paper when I was using my sock. It was desperate. But I thought, come on, Devin, no, you've got to choose your attitude. This is what mattered, this achievement, this feeling now.